Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is Alex Bennett. This is the Ramble. The Ramble goes on tonight until midnight Eastern Daylight Time from the East Coast of the United States. That smiling face coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, I got two of you. That's Stephen Pearl. We got two of you. That I did, uh, I did Kravitz yesterday. He's in uh-huh. Boulder City, so he's just down the road from you. He's down the road, I know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, how are you doing, Stephen Pearl in Las I'm Vegas? I'm tired. I forgot. I just I went to sleep, went back to sleep, and now I'm awake again. So. Oh, I see. We just got you as you just woke up. Yeah. Ugh, hair sticking up, cowlicks all over the place. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Or as the kids say now, woke. I'm woke, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woke, woke me, man. Woke me. Yeah. They didn't sleep, so. Oh, anyway. I was up all night, and now I'm. Not, then I went back to sleep, what and now were, I'm up again. What were you doing all night? Drinking coffee, smoking weed, watching TV. There's an old saying that goes: uh, "It takes it took me all night to do what I used to be able to do all night." He said, "There you go. There you go. I, I did nothing, but I was up. So yeah. <laughs> went yeah. to the gym, went to the gym at two in the morning. That's that was my." So that was my socializing. Anyway, so I've got I've got like my eyes are tearing. I'm just in terrible shape. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not the coronavirus because I don't have a temperature. I don't have a cough. I don't have nope. any of that stuff, right? But I've got drippy eyes. I've got a hoarse throat. You know, hoarseness in my throat, uh, and like laryngitis. And uh, I um, uh, have some sniffles and. Um, uh, that you know, what does that seem to be to you? Would seem to be allergies, right? Yeah, it could be pollen, just pollen everywhere. Uh, lightheaded know. a little bit. I, it's just, it's terrible, and I don't know what it is. I think it's something in the apartment because we have a low pollen count right now. Ah, it's it's Lampington's. <clears throat> hmm? You have hmm. Lampington's disease. Y- yes, and also because now I'm trying to clear my throat, I sound like an old man going. <laughs> I got some here. Hey. I got some in my head. Hey, it makes it sound like Ned Glass all day. Yeah. Hey, Ned Glass was more like he was kind of lazy. You, you know, people don't know who Ned Glass is. What are we doing, Ned Glass jokes? Ned Glass, well, you just tried to start World War Three. Ned Glass was a character actor in films. He was, he, he's very good. Was yeah. was he? Was he was in West Side Story? Yes, he was. He played Doc, the candy store owner. Where are you kids trying to start World War Three? That had to be his last movie ever. Oh, no, that was sixty sixty one. He lived to nineteen eighty four. How do you know this much? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You nutty, fucked up person. <laughs> How do you know this much about Ned Glass? I watch a lot of TV. I read all. I read all. The, I read the book. I was. Well, Ned wait a minute. I'm gonna. You know. Daughter. You know. I think you could be just. You know, putting us on here. Okay. So look let me. Up. Let look me. Up. Let me look up Ned Glass. Okay. Because I got the IMDb here. We go Ned, Ned Glass. Uh, okay. Now. Ned Glass. Ned. Ned Glass. West Side Story. Okay, boy, it's funny that with his whole career, which spanned, you know, the f- 40s and the... Oh, yeah, he worked forever. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, but anyway, uh, let's see here. Ned Glass, uh, he was... Well, where's... I don't want West Side Story. I want Ned Glass. I want Ned Glass. There we go. Ned Glass. Okay. Glass. Okay, Ned Glass. Um, uh, he died... I hate you. He died in 1984. That's right. And when How he, do I know these things? He was born in 1906. He died at 78. There he is, my friend Ned Glass. What are you worrying about? You worry too much. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, he was also in Charade, The me. Fortune Cookie, Kid Galahad. Elvis was a good boy, but he was taking too many pills. 
And let me see here. But, I mean, he was – didn't he go back to the – hold on a second. I'm looking at his career. God, it goes forever. You have to scroll down until your finger hurts. Uh, 53. No, actually, you know something? He's different than the guy that I'm th – well, no, wait a minute. No, 38, 38, 38. Yeah, this is the guy I remember. Yeah, yeah. He had a certain kind of funny voice about him. Kind of had talk like this. It was very Jewish and nasal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they drive by night, uh, uncredited. Uh, but, um, uh, 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 yeah. It worked, baby. It worked. Uh, man constantly worked. Constantly. Uh -huh. More than William Shower. So now our audience knows more about Ned Glass than they ever needed to know. There you go. Yeah, everything is in my new book. Everything you wanted to know about Ned Glass, but we're afraid to ask. Yes, yes. Uh, so what's new with uh, Stephen Pearl? What's Nothing. new in your? Oh, I did say the shows last week. We had a drive-in comedy show. It was a lot of fun. Really? And, uh, there, were, there were people sitting at tables, and there were people in cars honking. Unfortunately, a lot of them honked on the punchlines or right before the punchlines, but they're showing their appreciation. So. And then the guy goes, hey, lady, you should have been here an hour ago. We had some cream corn. Ha, 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 old cars there. Yeah. Really? So they laughed with their with their horns? Yeah, it was fun. It was, it was, it was, it was different. I enjoyed it. Did you get paid for it? Or did you just it's do like, Oh, it wasn't no freebie, Pearl. Don't do no freebies. No. Freebie, no freebies ever for no. Pearl. No. No benefits. No, I'll do some benefits. No freebies. No. No, no. <laughs> <clears throat> the only benefit you'll do is one for you. <laughs> Give me an S with a dollar sign through it. <laughs> yeah. So how's everything out there? I mean, is, is things Hot. they tried to open up the the casinos. How's that going? Uh, I don't know. I haven't been to any yet. So uh, I, 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 I might go out Friday. So uh, a friend of mine's having a going away party. She's uh, marrying and going to work. She's in the state. So uh, I might go out then. But uh, it's it's you know I see traffic. Drive, so you know, yeah, there's stuff going on. Yeah, so you see traffic. Yep. Yep. And uh, it's 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 you know it's high. It's boiling. It's like 107 right now, so I'm staying in. But uh, you know, I'm going out tomorrow to see a friend. And uh, that's, you, you that's, know, you know how I did how I dealt with heat like that in places where I live, like Houston, got very humid and hot. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And um, I would just treat it like it was a rainstorm outside. There you go. There you go. Except you're raining. You're the you one know, raining. I mean, it's hard for you to say, well, I'm not going out because the weather's terrible. But if it's 107 degrees, the weather's terrible. Oh, yeah, sure. I got big pores, man. I sweat like, you know, I sweat like Lindsay Lohan at a sobriety checkpoint. You know, I sweat. So, uh, <laughs> it's hot. But, I, uh, well, yeah, I, tell you, I sweat like Chris Christie at a Mexican buffet. Uh, okay, but here's my question. Here's my big question to you. What would you rather do? Be really cold or really hot? Ah, oh, oh. because when you're cold, you want to be hot. When you're hot, you want to be cold. What would you uh, rather be? Uh, what would I rather? Oh man, they both suck. Uh, right now, I'd rather be cold. Really? Yeah, right this second. But what? no, I'd rather, oh, I don't know, man. They both blow. So yeah, I would rather be cold. Yeah. You know why? You can bundle up. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. You can Let me bundle up. take off six layers of skin, and uh, you can see my you can see my patella through here. But, other than that. but if I had to put up between twenty five degrees below zero or one hundred and seven degrees, give me the Slow. hundred. And the, give me the twenty seven below or yeah, whatever. Yeah, give me the twenty seven below. Sure. Yeah. It's like the twilight zone where the sun's coming towards the earth and everything's getting hot. Well, not 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 below zero. Not below zero. A uh, thirty uh, twenty four five four degrees. Twenty five. Oh. Degrees. Okay, I've been to Canada in February. I know what it's like. So yeah, cold. Yeah. 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 You can turn the heat on. You can always bundle up. Well, I've never mind cold. You know, I like a good snow. I like to go out when it's cold. Not every day. <laughs> it ref it refreshes me. Yeah. I think I could take nice. it right now. Oh, it's yeah. nice. Once in a while. I wouldn't want. To, I don't want to live where it snows. You know, I've had yeah. it with that. So. Well, anyway, you could be worse places than uh, than where you are. You could be in Brazil. Oh, I don't want to be in Brazil, even though they got a whole lot of coffee in Brazil. But I don't. Want but to they got a whole lot of Corona in Brazil too. That's a whole lot of Corona in Brazil. That that that, right. that, that, that 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 See now, there's another another uh. thing <laughs> that you're referencing that the young folks who don't listen to this program. Well, then they should wouldn't just, understand. They should listen and learn, these young people. They should go back into the past so they can learn about their future, of which they have not. That's yeah, exactly. So. No tea, no tomato no juice. juice. No juice. Okay. No Mr. T. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, uh, so uh, uh, how's not working been 
going for you? I mean, in other words, how has it made you feel? I'm quite used to it now. <laughs> I, I sleep a lot. Uh, and up all night, I sleep all day. Um, I'd rather work. Mm -hmm. I'd rather get out there and work and do shows. I still like being home a lot. but uh, you know. Yeah, but you've got a car. And you can get in the car and go drive, right? If you really want to, like if you don't want to get away from feeling all penned yeah. in and everything. Yeah, but uh, I, I like it here. I'm and then you go out to the middle of a desert somewhere in Nevada, and there's no one there. No, oh, well, there's people there, but they're just not seeing anything. So, uh, so hey, there's Vinny. That bump is Vinny. There's another <laughs> bump that's Carmine over there. It's a, there's a lot of people out in the desert. They just don't you must, them. you know, because you love gangster movies, mm -hmm. you must love the history of Las Vegas. Oh, sure, sure, sure. And they show a thing. Well, it's not, they don't mention the gangsters here, but they show a thing very late at night on Channel 2 here, which is like the old film clip channel of uh, Vegas in the olden days, even like before it was Vegas. They show old pictures and everything like that. But, uh, yeah. You know, yeah, this is a fascinating town for that. It was started by a guy named Benjamin Bugsy Siegel. So, you know. Well, they say that Siegel did it, but there was another guy who actually was building the Flamingo, and he pushed him out. They pushed Siegel? Oh, oh. That was uh, not Del Webb. Who, 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 who were the, it was supposedly another guy's idea, and Siegel, but the guy was a gambler and in debt, so Siegel paid his debt off and said, I'm taking the idea. I'm going to build Las Vegas. Yeah, but, I mean, it wasn't like this. It wasn't like in the movie Bugsy where he pulls the car over to the side of the road and oh, looks was... out and goes, I'm going to build a city nah. here. <laughs> oh, Now, while I love that movie, movie, while I love that movie, because it was the last movie Bill Graham ever made, Oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, that's uh, I that. love the movie Bugsy. Uh, I do kind of question its authenticity. Oh, it was totally full of shit. It was totally that Virginia Hill, his girlfriend, being an actress. She was not an actress. She was a whore, and she worked for the mob. Yeah, she was a bag lady. She used to deliver money. It was just so much. And then and they had that Bugsy like reading a script as they shoot him. He was sitting on a couch, and they got him in the eye. That was it. And then they got him in the eye again. Then they got him in the face again. Then they got him in. The, there's some great uh, pictures of that too. They oh, they actually love taking a picture of that with this yeah. bullet through his eye. Oh yeah, there's a great picture of him on the couch with a bullet right in his eye. There's another picture of him on the morgue table, all cleaned up, and you can see all the holes in his face. They you got know, it, it, for you kids who don't know who Bugsy Siegel was, there would be no Las Vegas without Bugsy Siegel. Best gangster ever, better than Capone. However, it, like it said in the movie, the night that the um, who was playing here, here, here's a good trivia uh -huh. question. He started the Flamingo Hotel. It was the first hotel yeah. on the Strip, all right? Yep. There was no Strip. There was just the oh, Flamingo, yeah. right? Uh, uh, he opened up, uh, and there was a rainstorm, so nobody showed up. And that's what did him in, because then the mob just took the whole thing over. Well, that, he, kept, he kept taking money. It was supposed to be like $2 million, and it ended up being $4 million, $5 million, $6 million. Yeah. Was yeah. skimming off the top on top of that, so they just said enough of this shit. Yeah, enough of this shit. So, uh, but... Who played opening night at the Flamingo? Jimmy Durante. Yeah. Ha -cha 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 and Rosemary. Ha -cha 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 -cha. You're absolutely correct. See, I knew I knew he would know the answer to that question. It was stupid of me even to ask. Uh, <laughs> I like Bugsy. He's always been fair with me. But when he turned out with an eye missing, I knew I wasn't getting paid that night. Ha -cha 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 -cha. Yeah. But, uh, Rochester, hide the coat. Jimmy Durante's coming over. But, you know, the, 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 the notion that you could take some this desert and do something with it was yeah. brilliant. It was absolutely Smart. brilliant. Smart. Look and, at it now. Well, look at it, look at it before the virus. But. And here's another thing that the mob should have loved about it. Legalized gambling. That's right. Yeah. Ka-ching, ka-ching. What a great way to skim money. Yeah, sure. Sure. You know. So, I mean... Uh, uh, it was the perfect confluence of uh, commerce and crime. Uh huh. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it stayed that way for years until yeah. Howard Hughes came along and bought all the hotels and yeah. made it made legit. It all, made it all corporate and everything. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, there, but up until then, it was just a big skimming operation. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You could walk into the the count room and just uh -huh. fill your pockets <laughs> with money and leave. There you you go. know. And that's that's what eventually did them under anyway. That yeah. and, and who was that guy Pesci played in the movie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he ruined Vegas because yeah. he brought all the attention to the crime. Yep, yeah, that's right. You know. Wait, Nicky Santor, are we a Jew bastard? You come here in the desert? What do you expect me to do? I'm a fucking asshole. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You fucking fucking asshole. You better burn your ass while I can. Yeah. I'm taking it out. Got your fucking head over and send it to your mother when I have a steak pizza. Oh, what are you talking about? By the way, in case for that language, uh, they want to demonetize me on uh, YouTube. Uh -oh. He was simply doing an impression of Joe Pesci in a very famous movie called Casino. I'm going Joe. Beep. Pesci, yeah, you son of a beep. <laughs> yeah. I'll just bleep myself. Bleep myself. Don't believe yourself. Hey, listen, we've uh, kind of run out of time here. No! Okay. You, know, well, you, you yeah. kind of just look like going, uh, what is it, uh, uh, coming home? What was the movie that... Uh, home Alone. Home Alone. <laughs> Sam, so out of it today, I can't remember Home Alone. There's a Home Alone kid, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. We've been talking with Macaulay Culkin. Thank you very much. Times are bad. Got any Coke? Uh, ladies. Got any coke or hookers? We'll see you next week. Okay. Good seeing you, Alex. Bye-bye. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, there he is, uh, Stephen Pearl, and we'll uh, talk to him again next week. <clears throat> Boy, I am, I'm, I'm losing it. You know what I do? Every time I do an interview with somebody like Pearl or Kravitz or whatever, I take it and I also save it over to my, uh, over to a backup dip drive and things like that. And um, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at that. All right? Okay. Uh, and I was just looking because I have an interview that I did with Kravitz that I'm going to play next week, uh, Steve Kravitz. Uh, and uh, I checked it out, and guess what? I didn't save it, but I also erased it. I'm losing it, folks. It's time for me to cash it in. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just making too many mistakes. Mm. Mm. But I won't do it until next week because the middle of next week my other light should be back. All right. So anyway, we have some suspicious people in here, uh, but th this one isn't suspicious. Um, so we'll admit him. Uh, his name is Phil Meyer, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, let me see here. Let me uh, go here to my Zoom panel. Uh, wait a minute. I got to do something first. There we go, and um, then I do this, and there is Phil. Hello, Phil. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, it's amazing how smooth it just joins this thing. Yeah, but now here's the problem. I've got two people here. One is 607-2914, and another one is Mary. So well, Mary is Howard. M Mary I'm is Howard? Maui, yeah. Okay, let me see here. Uh, is uh, let's see if that's what happens here. There it is. Yep, Howard. I wish you'd put your name down, Howard. Now let me. Now there's a six zero seven two nine one four. Let me see who they are. Okay, because it might be somebody we know. Otherwise, I will just. Hello, who's this? Hello, can you hear us? Uh, you put your audio on. You got to turn your microphone on. I'm on. Huh? Oh, the other guy. The other guy. Uh, uh, you're 607. You're, yeah, your audio wasn't on. Now it, it, it looks like it. it yeah, hi. Uh, hi. hi. Who's this? Hi, Alex. I'm, Al I'm another Alex. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm sort of crashing the party, if that's okay. Oh, I'm no. A long time oh, fan. Well, we love you crashing the party. It's just when I see people in there that I don't know. I, I begin to wonder if I should even admit them. So now I'll, I'll close, I'll enable, uh, disenable the waiting room so all the people who come next. I appreciate that. You know, no, but Thank the other you. night we had like a, a Zoom bomb where everybody called me with strange names, you know. And every <laughs> night Howard's got a different name. Different shirt, too. Well, yeah, but <laughs> why the different name every night? No, it was Mary last night, too. That's my wife's name. Unfortunately, I guess I let her use my laptop, so. Oh, okay. Well, fine. You know, we'll remember that Larry, Mary is uh, is Howard. Hell, and he's in Hawaii. We have to meet Mary later, because at 5 oh. o'clock, which is in about 10 minutes or yeah. so, it's happy hour in Hawaii. Oh, really? Well, ahuma, ahuma, nuka, nuka, apa, wapa, ah, ah, to you, too. Um Let's see, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. And we're being joined by Charlie Wallace. I do nothing. I do this all hands-free. I don't have to do a damn thing. It's so amazing. I'm actually Jane. You're actually Jane? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Charlie. 
Yeah, I still feel like crap today. I don't know what it is. And I, I made this mistake. I erased the whole interview that I was going to be playing the next couple of nights. Yeah, I, I just, you know, I've started cleaning things up, and I guess I was getting too clean. Uh, so I may have to call Kravitz back and do it again. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I'm starting to make mistakes like that, and I'm beginning to wonder if I'm just getting too old. Maybe I should just no. pack it in. Just pack it in. And then I've got. I was coughing tonight. Oh boy! I just, you know, I, I, I don't. I, I've decided this has got to be some kind of allergies because I'm, you know, got the nose is drippy and the, a little bit of a, uh, the hard a breathing problem. Not bad. This isn't COVID, because I haven't got a temperature. I'm cool, cool. As my mother used to say, you're cool as a cucumber. And I never knew why cucumbers were supposed to be cool. Uh, do you ever? We cook cucumbers, don't we? You can refrigerate it. But can't we cook them? them? Huh? Put them on Pickle your them. eyes. We make pickles out of them. Anyway, my eyes have been tearing, and it's just, uh, it's just horrible. Oh, hear that? Hear the fireworks? Did you hear that? You didn't hear that. That's our other problem here in New York right now, and I thought I'd uh, I'd uh, mention it to you because it's we've happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere. Is it happening out your way too? Oh, it's like oh. Baghdad from June fifteenth on. Well, what seems here. has happened is there's been an invasion of fireworks into this country that are being sold illicitly. Oh yeah, it's it's. Here it's been real bad over the last you know ten years or so. It's been real bad, and then they're saying on the news that it's happening all over the country now. But, but I mean, this is like we we usually we've had this happen on July Fourth. People go out, they get the fireworks, they try to do their little display. They're happy. They're showing you a wonderful array, and you go, okay, wow, okay. Next night it's quiet. Mm-hmm. This this started last week, and it turns out it had nothing to do with Juneteenth. Had it's, nothing to do with anything. It's huh? everything to do with the lockdown and COVID. Yeah. You know, you guys are going nuts in New York. The, the, this is just a reaction to. Uh, no, but being, Kevin says it's happening down in where he lives. He yeah. locked too. It's hear that? Been, Did you hear it that? It happens reaction every year here. Not only do we have the rally here, they get all worked up over that, but now they're all pent up and they've had more time to find people selling the fireworks. And now they're. They're, they bought more. I mean, my neighbor here used to go out and buy seven, eight hundred bucks worth of damn things, and it was—it's literally Baghdad around here. You can sit on your roof and just—it makes Great America look like nothing. They made a movie in your town in what, 1947 or something, and uh, and you've been living off that fame ever since, right? What was the wild, wild one? one. Yeah. Marlon Brando. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it, it, it's it. But what does that have to do with fireworks, Phil? Nothing. Nothing. No, that, you that, just well, you just you just wanted to show us you knew something. Bunch of drunk you know, bikers yeah. beating up on each other. Exactly, exactly. And you guys have been living off that fame ever since. And now you need something else to do. You found fireworks. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, next every year they say. Yeah, but Phil, Phil, th- this is threatened. happening. I saw a report today from New Jersey. This is a big problem in New Jersey. Uh, and uh, the governor is threatening to do something about it. Or the mayor of this one city says he's actually here in New York. De Blasio started a fireworks task force. He, he's finally fought something. Well, no, I'll tell you what they're not good at. Okay, I told you about these uh, these people, the uh, indigents that are p- camped outside of our apartment mm-hmm. uh, house, uh, right next to uh, next to us. Uh, and, uh, you know, they just p- kind of, the, I, they were in a park across the street, uh, and uh, they pushed them out of there. So where did they come? They came across the street, and we've got this, you know, this protective thing around the building because they're supposed to do some work on the building and so on, and they, they don't want bricks falling on people. Uh, so they've got this covering. Th- yesterday they were at the side of the building. And I went for a walk with Marjorie. I said, what's this? She says, yeah, look at that. Today she comes in from a walk with her friend, and she says, there are more people, and they're in front of the building now. 
So I, so I call 311, which is not 911, it's 311. It's 911 light. You okay. know that Tony's brother Can I finish is my story, Phil? <laughs> Can I finish my story? I'm sorry I interrupted you. No, I'm in the middle of a story. I want to finish the story. All right. So enjoy yourself. I'm enjoying myself a lot. By the way, 6072914, what's your name again? Uh, oh. Just like yours, I'm Alex. Alex, how could I see? I forgot I can't that. I forget that. Shows you I'm screwed up here. Anyway, here's the deal. Rename it. So I call I call I call three one one, which is nine one one light. That's what you call when you don't have a, you know, really military uh, urgency. Okay. Who who is that? Charlie. No, no. Huh? Charlene. We, 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 huh? Charlene, it? Oh, oh, the Charlene. Okay, Charlene. There we go. I didn't notice uh, because the lighting's kind of different on you, Charlene. Anyway, let me finish the story. So I call 311 and I say, listen, there are these people camped out in front of our apartment house. They, they're not wearing masks. Uh, it's unsightly. It's crowding the sidewalk. Uh, and while I feel sorry for them because they're obviously homeless, can you send somebody to do something about it and see if we can get them some help? That's how I put it. So she takes a report and everything like that. Okay, so now I get a report back about what, what the police did. And they went out and they said, we didn't see anything. <laughs> so, uh, so wait a minute. So I go immediately go downstairs and I poke my head around the corner from the gate at our apartment house. And there they are. They're still there. Just as many as there were when I first went and looked. And I kind of blinked my eyes to make sure that I wasn't seeing something. And I, uh, I then uh, went back upstairs. And I immediately called 311 again. And I said, I'm really mad. I said, they said they couldn't see anything. I said, are they, bl is, are they, are they going blind over at the police department? You know, I saw them. Now, the only thing that I questioned was maybe they were behind a, a bus stop. And so maybe they were hidden a little bit in all of this so i suggested that they make sure they look behind there i get a second report nothing happening over there what tell me you were a cop phil what are these people doing getting ready having to run out and get donuts what's the story probably but tony's brother is in charge of 311 for new york city oh is he yeah i i i, I interrupted you to tell you that and uh, so, you know, I, it was kind of pertinent to what you were talking about. Well, I mean, it was just amazing to me. That, and and I, I put on my shoes and everything. I went, went back downstairs to look out there. And I'm not being an old guy griping. It's just that it is rather unseemly. And I have to walk through them. And it's like a Petri dish of human beings because none of them are wearing masks. How yeah. big is your bus stop? Is it 10 feet wide, you know? I don't know. So you, you can fit three, four tenths behind the bus stop. How many homeless people are you complaining about? Three or four? Oh no, I'm complaining about ten or twelve. Okay, so and they, and, they, and, they, and women and they're sitting there in chairs they've brought, and they're oh my God. you know it's it's like it's an encampment is what it is. Now I know well, that the in, come, in, huh? When the cops come, they're all turning their back to the cops and making it look like they're working on the building, and then when they leave, they just turn around and let it sit back down. It could be. Uh, it, it, uh, Tony, your brother's in charge of 311? Well, he's he's a boss of a, probably pretty much about 20 people, yeah. Well, really? you heard something? Oh. They're going in Tuesday to do work. Sis, uh, Cisco's coming in, so they got a lot of work to do overnight. Yeah, I may go in Tuesday night, Alex. If I do, yeah, I can call you from, uh, from the empty building in the office. Answer the questions. Your, is your brother in charge of 311? He's not in charge, but he's a manager of a certain section. Oh, okay. yeah, he's got people because I called 311 today and they didn't do shit. The cops I'm went out and said, we didn't see anything. And I'm thinking now of going down to the police station with a pair of glasses and handing it to them. <laughs> you know. Tony, it's Tony time said, time. if Alex calls, don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I know one thing, Alex, the new, the new lady in charge, uh, Jessica Tish, mm -hmm. she is tough. 
because I heard her on conference call. For tough Tish? Yeah. She's tough. She's good, but she's tough. She used to work for the cop. Yeah, but I mean... I kind of snuck in on the call. I only eavesdropped. Yeah, it was the only time that I've ever called the police about anything. I was thinking of calling them the other day about these fireworks, but I figure if they don't know they exist, they haven't got ears. Well, you I know. know they get... Yeah, they do the work overnight. Well, they have a lot of work going on Tuesday, I know that. And they do it overnight because they get so inundated with calls. There's always, like, something going on. I know there was a big battle with Cisco in Verizon. They were bidding. And Cisco won. My Alex, you know. see... But that has nothing to do with these indigents standing out in front of my building. No, whether no, you, whether actually, you got Cisco or I, I uh, WebEx or... My brother, when he goes in tomorrow. Well, he's actually working from home tomorrow. Wait a minute, Wait. old Alex. This, this is. What do you mean, uh, old Alex? What is what is that? <laughs> you, got you, Alex. Alex, you got old Alex. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, this is what Alex is sitting there going, same old Alex I always knew. Yeah. Well, uh, he has your camera turned off, but uh, the, the your mayor has told the cops to stand down on all of these kinds of things, and that's what you're going to get in New York City, because they're not going to go after homeless. That's not a crime. Well, Plus, the No, but You're you know support. something? I got to tell you something, Phil. Let me let me say this to you. That, you know, the, the police do precious little. Uh, and if they're going to do something, I think to maybe help some indigent people find some housing or some place to stay for the night would be preferable to them camping out in front of my, and they're, they're pooping out there, too. Oh no! <laughs> the landlord has to make up for lost rent, so he's renting to the tent city. Yeah, no, yeah, very funny. If you lived here, you wouldn't be laughing. You'd be, you'd be complaining too. You'd be the first one complaining. Yeah. To the police? Hmm? It's only on one side of the building. What do you mean? It was on the other side of the building yesterday. Today, it's in the front. I want to give everybody a little bit of odor. Oh, stop. Yeah. Actually, that is dangerous because they could. These, first of all, it's very hot. They could be. They could be COVID. You don't want them laying around like that. Oh, it's not. That's exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, Charlene. Oh, I want to say what a dump. <laughs> you know, like you said, they take a dump. So it's what a dump. Remember, Ben what Davis. A dump. <laughs> yeah. What a dump. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it's really, I mean, it's sad. I feel sorry for them, you know? Mm. Oh, it, here's to you. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Here's, 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 what? Wait, all of a sudden you turned your distorting, Tony. Yeah. You got a problem. You, you're distorting. No, no. Go into your, go into your, uh, preferences in zoom and go to audio video and go set your audio to auto or something like that because all of a sudden you went crazy with the audio oh, go crazy. what charlene got, charlene got pulled over by the cops and uh, uh was when was it yesterday uh was it yesterday oh it was horrible yes it was yesterday yeah yeah, yeah she got profiled Mm -hmm. By Sergeant. Oh God, my joke! I had to be careful, I, but I'm not George Floyd. I have to really watch it, you know. Yeah. Well, who were you arrested by, Sergeant 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 Chokehold? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know. Really, they've sent me to the psych ward twice. Why? So I got scared. Well, and I can't. I look. I I hate to see that happen to you. I'm not surprised, that but I hate to see that day, happen you know, to you. They won't release you. I've missed, uh, you know, things important and everything, and they. I, I don't know why they. Well, wait a minute. Why did they to send you to the psych ward this time? No, that's. I was so afraid they might do something like that. They just tell you get out of the car, you know, and I, I tell them no, I don't want to go. You know, can I walk home if I've done something? And they made me get into an ambulance. The twice. last guy who said that got shot in the back, uh, you know. That's called the 5150 when they uh, uh, take you off the street uh, for your own uh, safety and the safety of others. Well, uh, they didn't do it, thank God, because I had things to do and it would have ruined my whole day. But uh, Yeah, I, going you know. to jail would ruin your whole day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, they just uh, uh, put you in observation for 72 hours. Yeah, at the hospital. Yeah. It's three days, yeah. Yeah. And then when you get there, they they really waste taxpayer money around here doing that because the like social worker comes over 
Yeah. And she asked me a bunch of questions that I think they wanted to know. Like, am I married to my husband and all these weird things? And are, then they released what, me. Did they, say, did me they put it that way? Are you married to your husband? Yeah, they wanted to know if, like, I, and I said, no, I think we're common law. I was like, I, I was like, well, why are they asking me all these questions? Like the FBI, you know? The social why worker they, asked me. Why did they put why, you in the Now, now I, I understand what, I understand what. What did you, what'd you say, Charlie? I said, that's white privilege because a black person would never talk that way to a cop. You end up getting oh, shot. Maybe he's, maybe he's right, yeah. He got condemned for 72 hours of observation. Yeah. So no joking when what a black you, guy gets stopped. What did you say? No, I know. It isn't a joke. And Oh, my God. Did you hear about the, the new thing with Arizona? That before George Floyd, there was a young man like that got killed because, you know, black men don't want to wear face masks because they feel that's going to make them look more like somebody that they'd be suspicious of. And, it, oh, it's a big case. I wish I could remember the guy's name. But this they're making a big thing in Arizona now because, because but George Floyd is helping this case because uh, they he was going out for iced tea and they thought he looked suspicious and they didn't put a knee in his neck, but they choked him with their bare hands or something. Was, that, was that iced tea the wrapper or the drink? <laughs> I know. I thought of Ice Tea too. Yeah, it was Colorado. It was Colorado. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Uh, okay. I got all excited when I saw it. God, that. you're becoming a regular Phil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I couldn't. Tony, have you got your sound nothing. figured out? Uh, is it better? Yeah. But now you can yeah. turn it up a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna low. Turn it. Okay. How's that? No, talk. Talk to just in a normal tone of voice. Talk to us. No, that's too low. Yeah. Sounds great, Tony. Sounds wonderful. Leave it alone. Tony's like talking like this, like he's on some midnight FM station. Yeah. You know. Just before we, just before we go into news, and I go into a coma. I wanted to hear. I used to like when they. see, turn, turn your now, turn your audio up. He's using a different microphone. I don't think he's using the microphone. He's in No, I don't think that's going to change anything. Have you gone up to preferences? I can't find it. See up at the top, it says Zoom. Settings. Settings. See that, see, I'll tell you where. Uh, over on the side, at the top, okay, on the left-hand side, uh -huh. okay, see there's like what looks like a green shield. Yes, with an arrow like. Yes, click on that. That's oh, the same. I got you. You see? And there now it comes your thing. There. By the way, we're being joined by Scott Boddicker, and I don't think that Scott, Scott, you're not in, uh, you're not in your hometown, are you? A Plano. He's connecting. Oh, he's connecting his audio. Uh, there we go. He hello. Scott, he hello, Scott. Scott, can you hear us? Am I in? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> You're on vacation, right? You're not in Plano, right? Well, I'm drunk. Uh, you like it when I'm drunk, right, Alex? <laughs> oh, I love it when you're drunk. <laughs> can you hear me? I love being drunk, too, by the yeah, way. You've got, you've got so a, is, is you, Phil around? Where's Phil? He's, he's right, right, right up there. <laughs> yeah, you kind of got some... Uh, some uh, um, Bandwidth issues, but <laughs> oh, he just gave you the finger. This is the first Zoom finger that we've had. Find it, Tony. Hey, Doug. Go to audio. Oh yeah, we just in there. Yes, there it is. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I pushed it. Okay, up. you're fine. You're fine. Now you're fine. I don't know what went wrong with you. Let me move closer to the uh, router. What? Get well, you move closer to the router. Oh, Let's sit on the toilet. I gotta help her in the bed. <laughs> Hmm? He's got to go help his mother to the bathroom. Gee, if he only had himself like his iPhone that he was doing this through, and we could see him take his mother to the bathroom. There is yeah. a mother. The numbers on this show would zoom. Uh, let me see here. I uh, see you walk a straight line, Scott. So, Howard, how's life out there in uh, in uh, the land of the uh, Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Appa Wappa? Uh, uh. Swimming you know, it's by. fantastic. I got good news for you. Yeah. 
They're going to let people come to Maui starting August 1st. Oh, really? Who wants to go to Maui? Without well, anywhere in Hawaii. It didn't have to be 14 Maui. days. But the deal is you have to pass a test. So you have to take the COVID test. And if you don't have COVID and you have to do it three days before you come, mm -hmm. then you're allowed to come. No huh. more 14 day quarantine okay. oh, starting good. August 1st. Yeah. If you don't do the test before, then you're back to the 14 day quarantine. Hmm. Hmm. And how do they make sure you quarantine yourself? Oh, they get you literally. So there's a little form you fill out in the airplane. Normally, you say, oh, yeah, I yeah. I don't have any vegetables. I don't right. have any fruits. I don't have now any, yeah. they have. They know where you're staying, your hotel, everything. Before they even let you out, they verify with the hotel that you're staying there. On Oahu, they use the National Guard to go knock on the door each day to make sure you're still there. And you can't leave your room? Not supposed to. Not for 14 wow. years. Oh, Farm boy. Parts. That must be terrible to pay for a whole vacation in Hawaii. And you look out the window and everybody's swimming and sun sunbathing and all that. And you're stuck in your room. Well, during that period of time, nobody was even going mm -hmm. to the beach either. Well, now the beaches are open. Wow. And so, yeah, you're right. I, I think August 1st is the way to go. I wouldn't come now and just sit in a hotel for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well we, we're doing the same thing here in New York where certain states uh, are on our quarantine. And when they come here, they have to quarantine themselves for 14 days. Now, I don't know how we're going to pull that one off. You know, I mean... People come into New it's York easy. and they disappear oh. into New York. But well, at least, they can't drive through our borders. They have to come through an airport. Yeah, yeah. Yep. In our case, they can drive up here. And we could say, if you see a Florida license plate, the cops can stop them and say, how long have you yep. been here? You know. But or they could just rent a car when they get there and drive around and yeah. no one will bother them. Yeah. But, I mean, I, it's gotten to the point where we're worried about the fact that we've, it's like we've sanitized our city. You know, our numbers are down. We're down to about 17 deaths a day now. Uh, our hospitalizations have gone to under 1,000 now, to under 1,000. Um, and uh, we're, we're delighted with all of that. But we've so sanitized the city and so cleaned it up that all it would take is a couple of people from, like, Texas. I hate to say yeah. that, Charlie, or, or Arizona Iowa. here. To start uh, community spread. It's scary. It, so it's scary. We don't want you infected people. And, you know, there was a point at which Florida wasn't going to allow any New Yorkers into Florida. Yeah, Charlie, you got your hand up. Yeah, I just, I just want to mention that Texas had, had over 5,000 new cases for each day for the last three days. Mm -hmm. Over 17,000 cases in three days. Wow. Would, your I, governor, I your that. governor has really changed his tune, hasn't he? Well, in a sense, I mean, he's recommending that people not, you know, people stay home, but he hasn't issued any order. He's not but but he's sense. saying we got a real problem here. This is a, you know, and everybody's got to do something about this. And he's ramping that up. And when I used to see him a couple of weeks ago, ah, oh, don't worry about it. Everything's going to be yeah, he fine. He kept saying there's plenty of uh, hospital beds. Well, now there's not. There's the hospital no, yeah. beds are full. Oh right, God. right, right. At, At least in Houston, they're full. Yeah. In Houston, they're full, yes. Right. Austin, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, yes, Charlie. Oh, isn't that crazy? Like, New York was the hotbed, and now Texas and uh, where where's the other guy from? Uh, Arizona. You, uh, yeah, Florida. they're all like uh, the hotbeds now, yeah. and New York is like okay. Oh my God! I hope we don't get any spike again here. Yeah, we York, had over two thousand six hundred deaths today. <clears throat> wow. We haven't even had over a thousand deaths for like three weeks. Wow. Be careful, yeah. Charlie, right? Howard? We've had 17 deaths total in the entire state of Hawaii. Wow. How many? 17. Well, wow. you, you, you do yeah. have, you have a gr great situation and a bad one. The great part of your situation is you're an island. The bad one is you're an island. And the fact is that, that you can confine something to that island but you don't want to let stuff in that's going to infect it. So you can kind of 
build an emotional fence around yourself. Uh, and so it's easier, but it's also worse if it ever gets in there. It's like how August they were always first. worried about dogs with rabies. Oh, it takes only one dog to get rabies for the whole island to suddenly get rabies, you know. So, um, and also, I think there were a lot of diseases in previous years when the when the Hawaiians were being taken over by the white man, and uh, Molokai with the uh, is it Molokai? Well, the Molokai was the was were the lepre the leprechauns. Uh, the, the <laughs> lepre <laughs> there's a leper colony, uh, but Pretty that where there's a Trump live there. There was huh. What? Why doesn't Trump live there? He's got this big, beautiful water wall. <laughs> yeah. It's a big, beautiful wall. It's a big, beautiful water wall. You know what I loved about Trump the other day? Bragging about that he's built 100 miles of, of wall or 200 miles. 200, yeah. Wow. Do you know how long they have to build a wall in order to wall that off? About the next 20, 30 years, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's to brag about? You know, you got a hundred. Signed it and everything. They were down there signing it with sharpies and shit. That was ridiculous. Yeah. Dark. What a moron. When when are you finally going to give up on him, Phil? I mean, you can't you can't watch this guy every day as he's constantly. I love in, Trump. He's imploding. <laughs> he he's imploding. I heard that in Germany was going to give us a deal on transplanting the Berlin Wall down. So, you know, you see, you're not answering my really question. What does it take for me to get you out of your love of Donald Trump? They've yeah. crushed the Berlin I'll, Wall into base rock. Everybody's using it to put in their favors now. Hey, I'll, 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 uh, I'll take a check. Oh, that's much. Yeah, but, I'll give but, you a check. No, but Speaking what? of checks, you know, you know, Mr. Trump was uh, bitching about uh, mailing ballots. And here today they discover that they were sending out twelve hundred dollars checks to dead people. What yeah. the hell yeah, was all yeah, that about? Yeah, yeah. Well, they were hoping they the swamp, sending out all the money to the dead people. Yes, that's okay. It was one point three billion dollars in dead people money. But we're not going to let you know anybody vote by mail. No, did no. Did they cash? Did they cash it? They're probably Democrats. I hate to say it, but I know someone. Well, I'm, the know. thing, to, the thing to really dead. gripe about with uh, with. Uh, um, mail-in ballots is what happened to me. They never sent me a mail-in ballot. My mother? Mm -hmm. And, yes, and... Republican. Huh? You're dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they never You're sent dead. me one. So then I sent them f five emails. The last one I had in big, bold letters. You're denying me the right to vote. Okay? I've heard nothing from them. Zero. Zilcho. Alex, if you keep this up, you're going to wind up in that 72-hour observation with Charlene. Well, you know, at least I have a good company. You know. Well, we always we always knew you were crazy, Charlene. You just confirmed it to us. Charlene mm -hmm. is crazy. That, yeah. that's the price of yeah. entry to get on Gabby. Yeah. So, Scott, what do you what do you what, what do you think of all that's going on? We haven't had you on in a while, and I guess the only way you'll come on this program is drunk. So, uh, have at it. What what the here. Drunk, drunk is the only way I can handle Phil. Yeah. <laughs> only way. Is that a is that a picture of Adolf Hitler on your wall? Uh, just just uh, center to your camera. What what picture? Uh, just uh, yeah, right there uh, mm -hmm. uh, against the uh, fourth <laughs> wall. That looks like Adolf. That's oh. Granny. I think that's my. Uh, I'm. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. That's one. Yeah. yeah. That is, uh, oh, oh, shoot, where is it at? That's not Adolf Hitler. See, it, it delays so much, I'm on YouTube. Okay, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, zoom in it. Oh, I can't zoom in it. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know what that is. That's my brother-in-law. He's, he's a little off. But it looks like you're in a hotel room, but that's actually a house? It's, it's the basement, actually, yes. Oh, so they it's turned it into a hotel room, basically. It's, in the it's bunk. really nice. I mean... Oh, here, let me walk you around. It's beautiful. Right? Okay, well, if we don't lose you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Iowa? This is oh, Iowa. Oh, that is... Can you see that? That's a, that's a, that's gr that's granny. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, yeah, look at that. And it's a TV, TV back here somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's got a nice bar down here in the basement. Where's the bar? Show us the bar. All right. right. Is it coming around? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can see it. Oh, yeah. So you've been hitting that bar pretty heavy, huh? Oh, yeah. 
he it, wanted it's to be fun. So. You know, for a guy I'll, who he, he, I'll you know. sit at the bar. I don't. Know, and he's got this weird thing of. Uh, well, that's like, oh, Bernie you know, Fife you know, is behind him. I watch him when he locks him up. Yeah, well, that looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, there's a Barney, Barney, Barney Fife back here. There it is. Oh Barney, my God. I see it. He's funny. So. <laughs> He's got an eclectic taste, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Are you in Iowa? Yes. Yes, sir. Where in Iowa? Oh, it's uh, it's just south south of Cedar Rapids. Okay. It's called Ely. Uh, because I... I drove through Cedar Rapids once. Did you? I was going to stay there overnight, but there were no hotels available. Really? Yeah, probably not. Yeah. You could have talked to his brother-in-law. Oh, he's got a nice basement. You could have come in here, but that, uh, that was back when you were at the uh, other thing. Well, I think it's a very cool Barney Fife picture. It's even, it's yeah. even, it's even framed. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's not like he just slapped it up there like a kid's room or something. He actually yeah, right. was serious about it and framed it. And th th can you see that? Maybe. Oh, it's uh, not Jack. No. Yeah. No, it's not Jack. I, Jack is good, but it's too expensive. Ezra Brooks, awesome. And it's Who's made Ezra to look Brooks? like Jack. They make it to look like Jack Daniels. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Absolutely but it's about half the price. That tastes great. Yeah. You know, I. I my opinion only. I was never a drinker. So what? Yeah. What? What is a drinker? Not what does a non drinker drink? Usually, if they have to, vodka, right? Because vodka is kind of easy on the, on the, you know, gullet. You know what I liked as a non drinker? Scotch. Oh, well, I died, right? I've never I died. Up the taste for it. We, we I finished tried. the scotch already. Hmm? Yeah. Jeez, yeah. I tried to. See if I'd like scotch, and I started with that uh, Loch Laven or something, and uh, then I went to turn your mic up a little bit, Phil. Oh. I, I never thought I'd have to say that to you, but it's... <laughs> no, don't say oh, that. Oh, oh, that's uh, that, that that looks like Johnny Walker, Walker, but it isn't Johnny Walker. That's red label. It's not really? that good, Mike said. My brother-in-law said it's not that good, but what is it? Another another off-brand? It's a blended, a blended scotch versus a. Uh, uh, a single malt. Yeah, but these people are making their labels look like labels from other stuff. That looks like a Johnny Walker label. It is Johnny Walker. Oh, it is Johnny Walker. Okay. Yeah, but it's I, red, not the black. How do I know these things? I don't drink. You know. That's okay. It's a good thing I don't drink. You wouldn't want me drunk. You know. <laughs> You'd probably fall asleep. You know, maybe I'll come out to New York sometime, Alex. We'll get wasted. <laughs> It doesn't take much to do that to me. Two drinks, I'm out, you know. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Now, how many drinks we'll have you... we up in the roof well, and look. Let me ask you, though. How many drinks have you had tonight? How many fingers Seven? Have you Seven? Yeah. Oh, I would be out Seven. like a light. I would be uh, gone. I'd be throwing up. I'd be tying my mother up. <laughs> I'd be what? My mother. Well, uh, since about four o'clock, though, what time is it now? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I'm at over six hours or so. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Let me ask. Let me ask uh, Tony something. Because Tony, in case you don't know, his job is taking care of his mother. He actually gets paid for that. Yeah. Because the good son that he is, the only way he will take care of his mother is if they pay him to do it. <laughs> I do not understand that, but that's okay. Yeah. Anyway, Tony. Uh, when your mother kind of needs to be sedated, mm. do you ever give her some schnapps to shut her up? Oh, yeah. She's not a drinker. So you know what I do give her? What? Yeah. When she can't sleep, once in a while, I give a Tylenol PM. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. One of those that she's out like a light. <laughs> oh, Tylenol PM will put you out like a light, but then you wake oh, up yeah. the next I morning and you, you have a slap back with that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes she gets up a little groggy the next morning. Alex, you've been quiet. But then she's okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you a drinker at all? You know. No, you don't look wine. like a drinker. Just wine and beer. I'm not a, not a not a big drinker. Yeah. Not a big yeah. Drinker. Now you live you live where? Did we establish I'm where in you live? I'm in Burlingame. In fact, I thought you, Alex. I thought you still lived in San Francisco, and we're still on Quake. I I I, I had oh, no well, idea. Oh well, boy, you you've you been in a coma for about 20 <laughs> years. Then I guess so. I just assumed you were still around. 
Uh, yeah, that's the regular one. The, the, the Quake, that was 1975. Born and raised there. Oh, right on. Right on. Did you go to Burlingame High School? Yep. You know, Panther? Right on. Yep. So is my, I'm a San Mateo Bearcat, so we're, we're rival. But my son is a Panther. Yeah. So anyway, um, so uh, so so that my my gripe with the police now is, what the fuck is with them? Why can't they, a maybe help these people, but b get them away from my front door, you know, because it's unhealthy. They're taking dumps there and they're, you know, doing everything. You're, you're, you're a standard limousine liberal. You you it's okay. Not to hassle the homeless as long as they're not. No, no, no. I don't want them hassled. I, in fact, I, I made it perfectly clear to the uh, to the th person at three one one that uh, uh, I I felt sorry for them and I felt they needed help, but the place for them to be is not on the street, in front of my apartment house. They should be in. They should be given some kind. Of, and the governor said the same thing. That to take because he was once in charge of some programs that had to do with the homeless years ago, and he said that you know these people really need help, but they need the kind of help where we can put them up somewhere, get them lodgings, get them care, medical care, and so on. And that's all I wanted. I said I think these people should be helped, you know. But uh, yes, Howard, you got any empty hotels or something in New York? I think we got a lot of empty hotels yeah. right now. That's I say the put them all up. Phil's, I, take Phil's them all. right. It is not against the law to be homeless. Yeah. Take, take, right. take, it, well, no, it's not against the law to be homeless. But they are, uh, you can, what I was asking is that they go and help these people. Okay? And they do something the about solution. it. They do something Open about it because they're a health hazard to me and to the, my neighbors. Okay? And that it, it's, it's, it's unsightly. And it's inconsiderate of these indigents, you know, and it's inconsiderate of us to not do something for them. All right. Does Donald Trump have a hotel near you? Yes, he does. <laughs> yes. He'll open it up for oh, all Oh, by the, the way, you know what they've done in front of Trump Tower now? Across the whole street? Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, I've got to Howard, see that. Are there a lot of homeless in Hawaii because, you know, they have showers on the beach and, and all of those things? And the you know open to the coldest it's going to be today probably is in the 70s and the hottest is going to be 89 degrees yeah 89 so yeah. i mean if you were homeless and you lived on the beach and you had a shower and you had a potty yeah. it's not like boston and you're homeless and it's the yeah. winter yeah yeah um uh here this is it is this it I so yes phil we do have a homeless problem and it's worse now than ever because tourism isn't coming. Mm. And we, we, I, I remember uh, as I was driving uh, uh, from uh, South you know, Kihei over to uh, Lahaina, I would see all of these vans parked uh, on the side of the highway uh, with tents and things like that. You know, it was like the people living in their vans. Is that now more common? In it's worse now than it ever was. Hey, Bree. Bree just joined us. And, and guess what? It's sad. With Bree joining us, wait a minute, hold on a second. Uh, with Bree joining us, is that a royal flush, Phil? No, it's a full house. It is, oh, it's a full house. Excuse me. It's a full house. Okay, here we go. Full house. Doo -doo. There we go. Hi, Bree. How's, it, how's it going in, uh, in uh, uh, where are you again? Uh, Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. How is it going there? Pretty good. Yeah. I got a new uh, tablet here, so hopefully it will work. Picture uh, looks directly. terrific. And the Zoom works oh, well, great. too. So, you know. This is a Tab A with S Pen. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> I just got a new Note Lite 10 mm -hmm. uh, phone, so I think I'm up to date. Okay. Well, you know, the thing is that uh, the, the Zoom thing is working pretty well. Uh, it's made it pretty pretty simple for us, so you know. I just got off a Zoom meeting and a Teams meeting. Though I was in three meet and I was watching you on YouTube, so I was kind of in three meetings in a way. <laughs> well, this isn't a meeting. This well, is Teams is what Teams is Microsoft, right? Right. So that's an yeah. offshoot of Skype. So how does that compare to Zoom? <clears throat> They're building it up. It's not quite there. 
Um, if you go back to March, it was terrible. Uh, audio was bad. You could only see four people. You couldn't do anything. Now they're, you know, they're catching up. What's interesting is Skype is not great, okay? But it's not that bad. Uh, these guys uh, can't get, Microsoft can't get things right. If they had problems with it, why didn't they just give everybody Skype? I mean, you know, that worked yeah. to an extent. Yeah. I got to tell you, why didn't, uh, Microsoft should have bought Zoom years ago, you know? Well, Zoom hasn't caused me an, just a, a, an ounce of problems. Nothing. And everybody here, how easy was it, everybody? Simple, yeah. right? Yep. I'm shocked I could do it. <laughs> you know, and, and I don't have, I, I could still get as ma maybe 10 more people on here and it wouldn't freeze up on me at all. You know, and but it, Alex, why why are you so concerned with the Zoom bombers? I mean, I think that makes the show interesting. Well, no, <laughs> it, it doesn't make the show interesting when they're coming at me ten at a time, and I've got to swipe them off like flies. <laughs> they didn't say anything. They didn't add anything. Does it remind yeah. you of when you were twenty three, twenty four, Alex? They were all see if they want to bomb me and then talk to me. Okay. <laughs> Like but they don't want to talk, you know, so I'm sitting there going, and then suddenly I realize who these people are, so I then turn on the waiting room, and then I get rid of the ones I've got, and then I kill everybody else that is trying to call. Well, Alex, you, did you turn off the ability to share screen? Yes. If you don't let yes. Person, okay, yes. then they can't really do much. No, they can't. But I, I, did, I didn't know that in the very beginning, and I did a weekday show like it, you know, four in the afternoon or something. Yep. And all of a sudden, they, you were there, Charlie. You saw them Zoom bomb me. We had a lot of yeah, vaginas yeah. and penises. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I missed that. <laughs> yeah, but now I've turned off the screen share. You know. So uh, you can't share anything. I, you, I can actually set it so I can do it. I can share my screen with you, but you can't do it. So Anyway. <clears throat> hey, Alex, you don't even need a green screen. Oh, well, I know. We can do that, too. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me just, let me see if I can, if, uh, some, uh, if I can do it. Let me see. What, the, what do I want as a background, my virtual background? What, oh, that's where I'm, this is where I'm from. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. San, I like that. San Francisco. Jump. jump. Huh? Jump. What? Jump. Okay. Jump. Okay. Let go me see here. Bridge. What I like is there are, <laughs> there are some that actually, uh, 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 let's see here. There's some that actually move. Here we go. Yeah, oh. da -da, and nice. blue Hawaii. Huh? How's that? All right. And then, of course, there's the Northern Lights. That one's beautiful. But this is the only ones they allow you to have. Otherwise, uh, I like this one. This is kind of my the space one. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. But so you can't you know, put your own up. But, well, I, I think I can, yeah. But I but I can't do a video. I'd like to put a video up, you know. But uh, any of you can do it, sir. Howard, <clears throat> person. Yeah, yeah, you can be with your cats. Yeah, Howard's with his cats. I'm yeah. a cat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. The only thing is that your green screen would work better, however. Yeah. Um, on my uh, uh, PC here, it says I don't have enough power, and I'd have to use a green screen for it to work. Um uh, but these, this machine I have here is a powerhouse, so, you know, no problem at all. Anyway, so what, the, what, is, what has our dear president done today? You know what he is, is in certain cases, he is just the, the uh, polls are just taking him to the cleaners. And, fake news, fake yeah, news. Yeah, but don't fake worry. News. And even, even uh, the House Minority Leader, was saying today that uh, maybe Trump should try a different approach. Evan McCarthy? I think, no, no, it was Mitch McConnell. Excuse me, Mitch McConnell. Oh, okay. I saw today, who said that he should be taking a uh, a different approach. That he is his his uh, divisive approach isn't working, and he's not stopping it. I mean, I think uh, Trump is. I think Trump is going to lose this one for himself. Because he doesn't know how to, you know, what works and what doesn't work anymore. He's so welled up in that ego and saying, well, look, I got elected president. He got elected president because a lot of people said, ah, let's give him a shot. You know, we've tried everything else, you know, blah, blah, what blah, blah, blah. What have we got to lose? Exactly. Now we know. Now life. we know. 
So, yeah. so a lot of people who voted for him uh, are, are, have, have a different opinion now. And it's like, uh, well, we know what we've got to lose, and we can't, we can't afford another four years of this kind of absentee presidency, you know, and a guy who isn't taking care of business and isn't watching out for us. You're, yeah. you're hearing the story from people that uh, agree with your point of view. No, uh, I, 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 I hear a lot of people that say if Trump doesn't get reelected, it's the end of the it's the end of the world as we know it. So, you know, it's for, for as many people as you've got that say, you know, what, well, you know, that it's not so the world. I don't talk to anybody. What right people? Wait a minute. What people? What people? Uh, you're, you're probably watching. The only MSN person out of all of you that I talk to on any level where I'm not here is Kevin. OK. And, and uh, so he's feeding you this propaganda. Are you feeding me propaganda, Kevin? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Right. And am I and I'm pretty gullible, right? <laughs> Even Fox News polls show him losing by twelve points. The polls yeah. don't mean anything. Fourteen today. Phil, the polls do mean something. They don't mean it when it's six months out. Don't mean it when it's nine months out. But when we're only what four months out now, we're getting yes. a little close yeah. to that election, Phil. Three months, it goes from likely voters to uh, from registered voters to likely voters, and at that point, you're going to get a different uh, uh, result. And bury that head in the sand. Uh -huh. uh, because well, uh, it's, it's registered. The thing is that it's been going oh, look who's yeah, I mean, Oh, you know, it's, it's not a done deal. Every month, look who has uh, look who hasn't joined us tonight until now. It's Brian. Hello, Brian. Oh, wait. there's my my green screen. I do like my green screen. Beautiful. It's terrific. It's wonderful. <laughs> and by the way, we can now change this uh, to from a royal flush, yes. or rather from a from a a, a, a a what do you call it? A full house to a royal flush, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. You get one more, you'll have a jackpot. But have yeah. you put that graphic up? Oh yeah. On oh, my phone. Does that count? Uh, I'm ready to go with that. One more person, we can we can put up the jackpot sign. You know, um, well, how are you today, well, Brian? You know, the, the final I'm is. doing good. We, we had a few long days, so we're doing the final design on the new uh, Lodi facility for COVID. So, yeah, so it's good. Just a lot of work, long yeah. days. So you can so. go down to your facility at, once it's finished and get COVID, right? Yes. Yeah. I can test every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You haven't tested yet, right? Oh, man. Sorry, I got helicopters going over my house. What did you say, Phil? I, Brian hasn't tested yet. Uh, he doesn't want to use company property, but uh, Brian, you haven't tested yet, right? I have not tested yet. Oh, here we go. Guess what? Boo! John... Let's see what his name is. Let's see what his name is tonight. Oh, boo. Okay, what? ladies and gentlemen, on, here, here we go. You ready? Uh, yeah. But um, it's, it, it's a jackpot. Yeah. Do you know we could not. <clears throat> excuse me. There goes my voice again. Oh, John. Yeah, we could not do this. Many people with Skype without certain people dropping out or not working or putting too much of a strain on the on Skype. This it's doing it and it's not even breathing heavy. You know, it's amazing. It's just mm -hmm. amazing. What's the maximum number of people you can have? Oh, I can do, I could do, uh, I, 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 yeah, I could do 100. Uh, so but not it, all on one screen. That's the problem. So with this number, was this 12? Uh, we're all on one screen. What yeah. would happen if there was 13? Would it go to the second screen? One more. No, it would, everybody would get a little smaller. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. It's, it, 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 at 20, I think, it fills the page and then it goes to another page. At that you point, can if, out if, the if too. Hmm? you can stretch out the screen too. You can stretch it out? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to have to though. Because no, I'm, I mean, I, we can on our end. I just did that. Oh, I see. What do you mean stretch it out? Well, you know, drag it out, and make drag. it bigger. Oh, okay. Where do you drag it from? The corners, yeah. the side. Yeah, you see, I can't do that because what I've got is I've got this screen sized so it fits right with the picture. Okay, you get what I'm saying? 
yeah. that I'm using on the air. Uh, so I can't if I if I were to make this bigger, I would change everything. Plus, there's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stuff at the bottom of the screen, like uh, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, participants and chat and record and things like that. And then at the top, it got other stuff and so on. What I've got that done is I've got all that masked out. And if I m make it bigger, believe it or not, the whole thing changes. So we'd have. To, I think we could get. We could go to, you know, one person more on each level there. So, who knows? Yes, Howard. I got a question. What? Do you still listen to music? Me? Yeah. No, not really. Not a lot. You know, a lot of TV watching. Uh, but, well, I, I, yeah, when I was, when I was walking around a lot, I had my earbuds in. I listened to a lot of music and Sinatra and so on. But you know what I finally decided, and I didn't realize this till a couple of months ago. I really like country music. Yes. And, and always, <laughs> wait a minute, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. But what kind of country? Old country no, or new country? I'm, I'm talking about, I'm talking, no, I'm talking about people who are very traditional. Uh, so like yeah. Willie, Waylon, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, but I also like, for instance, the Dixie Chicks, because they are traditional. The Chicks? Yeah, they just changed their name today to the, to the Chicks. They, they, they struck the Dixie. Oh, I just really? heard that. Oh, wow. Very sexist. Well, Dixie Good Cups, yeah. Dixie Cups yeah, are Dixie, just be Dixie's a four-letter word now. Yeah, Dixie Cups are changing their name to Cups. <laughs> D Cups. Yeah. D Cups. D Cups. D Cups. Yeah. That's funny. That's funny. You mentioned New Country because that was uh, an invention of a friend of mine, and then Young Country came out, and Young Country kicked off New Country. Uh, well, the, the the point is that I like I, I just suddenly realized that I like kick ass bluegrass and crap like that, you know, and I've and anytime it's on or I'm playing it somewhere, I listen to it. I mean, I'm really like, you know, country. I love country. What can I say? Texas. Come on down, buddy. Huh? Yeah. Uh, it's more timeless. Hmm. It's timeless, you know, and plus it isn't, you know, kill the cop and, you know, hit the woman, you know. <laughs> my dog died. Oh, it the wife you left me. Kiss my ass. <laughs> what did you, you say, Charlie? So if you don't like Hank Williams, you can kiss my ass. <laughs> kiss my grit. <laughs> Alex, like, what were the perks when you were a, a, the DJ you know, on the rock and roll stations? Did you get to meet rock stars and go backstage and things like that? What was, what was that like? Um, I, I did that. I actually, did. I never, I never, okay, I have to explain this. I, in the times that I was a disc jockey, uh, yeah, I had some perks. Like I, you know, we had a Beatles concert in Houston and I, the station held it and I went to it. Uh, I emceed the Rolling Stones concert there, nice. but that was not really meeting them, you know. Neil uh, Show and his wife came to Campbell when we were there. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. you, know, you interviewed like the Ramones and John. Well, Lennon yeah. Now them. what happened is in later years I did interview shows, but I did interview shows that were different. I did talk that was for young audiences, so I would have on rock people you know i would have on some of the political people of the time the lefty you know youth gurus and so on yes charlene oh did you uh me and interview mick jagger did you meet him or no did you know him no no never what about yoko ono yes oh, yeah. yes all right Qu quite often actually um but my whole shtick was is that i was like doing a show for a younger audience, a talk show for a younger audience. So I had all these rock people on, and it worked pretty well. I mean, you know, and so I met, I, that was my excuse for meeting all the rock people of the time, you know, and um, um, and then, then I met up with a lot of them. Yeah. So that's how I explain it. But I didn't and meet you're the, the You were the fifth Ramon, right? It was the fifth, fifth Ramon. Yes, yeah. we always had a joke about that. Um, Joey always used to joke about that with me. 
And yeah. in fact, uh, I had a band that opened. Uh, I managed a band that opened for the Ramones once. I forget the stories, but we were in gym locker rooms. We were in the female, and they were in yeah. the male. We could hear them. They didn't think we could hear them, and we heard them. Well, the only the only uh, rock star in the early days that I, I got to work with was because I hired him, and that was Jerry Lee Lewis. Wow, uh, he's uh, still alive. Hmm? The killer. Yeah. What'd you say, Bree? Oh, he's still alive. Who, Jerry Lee Lewis? No, yeah, he's got to be. It. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold yeah. on a second. I think he, if, if he's still alive, I'm pretty sure he's still alive. I gotta look yeah, this up. He is. Uh, uh, he, wait a minute. Hold on a second. He Give is. him a call, Alex. Get him on Zoom. Get him on the show. <laughs> Woo! Grit balls of fire. Well, hey, Scott, oh, nice picture, guy. Scott. Recently. Behind you, I just saw that. <laughs> oh my God. Son, I'm a I'm son of a fucking bitch. How old is he? He's, he's still so alive. I told he you. He's 84, now, year, now, he's 84 years old. That's not old, really. <laughs> for him. What do you mean that's not old? Well, I mean, you know. I I'm he old and he's older than I am. That's no, old. you're not old, Alex. <laughs> oh, look at Scott. Boy, he's going to be ready for Jack's show tonight. <laughs> uh, I just slammed one, too. Uh, yeah. I like that he's posing next to It was Barney. gorgeous. You better slow up. <laughs> Beautiful. Although, uh, you know, speaking of people oh back from God. that day, Alfalfa. Oh, you're making him Alfalfa up. has been arrested. Uh, Alfalfa. Alfalfa. I thought he was. Oh, no, he was. He was. Oh, he's dead. He, he, he's he, he died in a, in, a in a in a bar fight. No. Yeah. This is where to go. Alfalfa's go dead. Alfalfa Schweitzer oh, is dead. Oh, he's dead. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I saw uh, the. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What oh do we call God. this? This is this. Is, who who have we who have we got jackpot. on here? Oh, right. Hold, Hold on a second. Who, no, we oh, oh no. I already have a jackpot. This would be. Oh. I don't, Omg. Huh? This is fire. Oh, Omg. Yeah. Who who's calling? Who is this? Have you got your can? It's Scott. Huh? Turn your audio on. Audio Scott. And then Scott, turn your microphone yeah. on. And go sideways. If it's your phone. Scott, can you hear us? Another Scott. Yeah, we got another Scott. See, this is what happens now when we have this many people. <laughs> we have... Uh, yeah. He's still connecting. He's still connecting. Maybe yeah. I can help him. I don't know. That is Scott Kapowski. Kaprowski or something. Yeah. Kaprowski, yeah. 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 No, he doesn't have his mic on. That's what his problem is. I, yeah. I can tell that here. Look look at that. Look at wait a minute. Just stay right where you are, Brian. Brian no, no, yeah, just right where you are. You look right. you, you look like Alfalfa Schweitzer right now. <laughs> oh I was Alfalfa for Halloween a few years ago. Not your head. I was Alfalfa and I wore shorts, plaid oh, shorts. This. And I had yeah, and I had my I had my zipper down and my shirt was tucked in and my shirt white shirt was coming oh, out. Yes. The zipper. Yeah, I you wore did that, that outfit. Right. So how many people is this? This is 13 people, right? Yep. Wow. Wow. And not even breathing awesome. heavy. Not even. Hello, Scott, are you there? Can, is your mic on? He doesn't, he doesn't have his mic on. Oh. I don't know. He's just looking at us. He doesn't know either, he said. Yeah. Oh, I got the water. Scott, just go up to the shield at the very top of the screen. Click on there and see if you have your audio on. Uh, it doesn't look that good on there. Hmm. He probably won't get this fixed before we're off the air, but he's just waiting to get on Jack's show. He's testing. The, we're te he's testing the uh, the oh, limits of this. Oh, speaking of Jack's show, he's not doing Zoom, right? He's still on Skype. He's still on Skype. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I had enough trouble teaching him Skype. Okay, you know. right, right. I understand. Yeah. Um, but so I would. I, I, was that bottle full tonight? And and now it's a three quarters finished. I don't know. We don't. We don't yeah. know. Let me see here. He, that's I'm, his eighth drink. We're counting. I'm going to get rid of the stuff. jackpot, and we'll just call this whatever it is. Look at it was that. Up to here earlier today. Huh? I, oh I didn't God. drink that much water. He drank the whole bottle. But... Okay. How many? How many months till cirrhosis of the break. liver? Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, right. Yeah, Scott, Scott too is gone. Yeah. Oh, Scott went away. Oh, okay. All he's right. There. He scared him away. Other Scott. No, other Scott. Other Scott. I love Scott. 
I love <laughs> scotch, too. I love scotch, and I love Scott, and I love scotting scotch scotch. Yeah. I always yeah. listened when uh, Brian Ludwig was on the phone, and when I was trying to log in those days, I was going to say I was the straight Brian. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, right, right. Brian's, but I was the straight Brian. Brian was but... great. Brian was great, yeah. Yeah. yeah I know where he went. I see him. Well, he had to work, and he probably changed his hours and whatever. Uh, Occasionally, we hear from him, you know. Uh, it's been a while. But yeah. uh, but this is... I'm really impressed by the way this uh, whole Zoom thing is working. Yeah, it looks you know, good. I mean, it doesn't afford me the creative capabilities that Skype does. Bree wants credit. Just tell Bree he's right one time, please. Alex. Oh, yeah, Bree, you were right. Yeah, you were right. Thank you. Finally, okay. <laughs> okay, Bree, you're no, done. No, but this is, I'll tell you, though, this is very fragile. I'm doing this in a very fragile way. I cannot change mm. the way I've got this thing framed right now, you know, yeah. where before I could okay? choose. Huh? Looks, it looks okay. It looks great. Yeah. Looks great. Beautiful. I'm and, worried and, about the ten people watching on YouTube. That's the problem. I think that <laughs> this this frame uh, of having uh, what do we got here? Twelve. Yeah. I think it's really the maximum you ought to take. Not really. Uh, I'll tell you why. The great four, thing about four. Zoom. The great thing about Zoom is is that you don't have that tamping down of your audio when somebody else is talking yeah. so that right. you can hear somebody when they, they can interrupt you and then you hear them interrupt you yes. and then you can talk back and forth and it's a little more fluid. I, the whole thing we used to do was raising your hand like uh, 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 Bree is doing right now. Oh, listen you know, to the fire. If you interrupt, you get yelled hey, at. Bree rose, raised his hand, you see. <laughs> yes, Bree. That's how I learned my lesson. I always got yelled at. Okay. So, Alex, at, at this point, we now have the ability to have the panel actually larger than the viewership. Yeah. Yeah, well, but you no, know, <laughs> we have a rather large viewership uh, lately, too. Oh! Burn! Well, you know, I mean, it, 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 it certainly it would be fun one night to say, let's see if we can beat the amount of people that are listening right now. You know, I don't even I haven't even checked the audio in a long time to see how many people are yeah, tuned in. 43 on chat. Yeah, yeah. I listen to the on audio. Chat. Wow. Uh, but uh, we, oh, we only have 11 people listening to the audio what? only. Well, oh, audio only. Does, why would people listen to audio only? Because I do that because I'm walking around. Yeah. Hey, be, uh, yeah. We're, we've been driving. joined by somebody else. It's his truck crowd. Yeah. We're, we're joined by Oscar Munster. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that that's not we, John the Agostino's friend. Uh, no, no, oh. no, it's From the monsters. <laughs> what, what no, it's John again. It's Fred again. Yes, John you. Larkin has his hand up. Yes, John. He's, he's oh, Oscar hey, Munster. Talking. My name is Oscar Munster. Oh, I see. You're Oscar Munster tonight. Yeah, I should. Hey, you, I can set it so people can't change their names. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> You know, Alex, the, mm -hmm. the oh. great thing about Zoom is mm -hmm. when I'm on Skype, it just sucks a lot of power out of my laptop. Yeah, it sucks. It's like it like burns it up. This mm. is it's power. My suit, CP, Zoom is great. My, my CPU is sucking out 17.3%, okay? When I started tonight with just me, it was 17.1%. Okay, yeah, it, awesome. doesn't, it doesn't use up that much CPU power. Right. Right, exactly. Whether I've got one if person or I've got wall, 20 people, yeah. it's the same amount of, of, of bandwidth that it's using. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool all the way around. And I just noticed we're almost running out of time here. So when you went, Alex, when you went to that Rolling Stones concert when you were at, uh, mm. uh, at Camel. Uh, and I wasn't I, at Camel. Yeah, you were well, at Camel. I went, I went to the one out in, uh, in San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. You gave me your your pants. Uh, I guess you tore it off your jacket, and it's and I stuck it on a book. And I had it for years. I don't know what I did with it. Yeah. But. Was it the tongue and lips thing? Or? Yeah. No, no. It was uh, it was like a backstage pass or something. Yeah. Anyway, oh, listen, we're running out of time. Yeah. Enough memories, Phil, of that I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Phil Meyer. Thank you, Howard. Great having you third night in a row. Good for you, Howard. Howard the duck. Um, Howard the it was duck. good tonight. Yeah, Howard the duck. Alex, please call us again, will you? I will. Thank we you. We love hearing time. from you. Kevin, thank you. Charlie Wallace, thank you. Shalene Martinez, Tony Magno. 
uh, uh, Scott Boddicker, uh, uh, stripping Br Brad Freeman, Bree Freeman. Bree what are you doing? Yeah, off. What are you doing? You uh, Brian Neary, and thank you, Oscar Ooh. Munster, better known as John oh Larkin. Oh my God, he's taking his shirt oh, off. Oh, Look this, at that. we got, we got to get rid of this <laughs> before it's too Look late. Yes, all right, everybody, wave goodbye, and we'll wave back at you. Jeez almighty, is that disgusting or what? Oh, man, okay. That's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. We'll be back again tomorrow night. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's going to be here with a little thing that he likes to call the intersection. Uh, and uh, you stay tuned for that and call him, okay? In the meantime, I will see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay? I do. I really do. And, and stay safe and wear a mask. <laughs>